Scratch is crazy. Yes, the logo may look like it's a character from Peppa Pig, but it's actually a really cool game engine. It was created almost 20 years ago by MIT to help teach programming to kids and adults alike. It uses a high level, almost Lego-like visual scripting language. And though it's primarily used as an educational tool, it's incredibly popular. So much so that this is one of the most highly requested videos on the channel. The Scratchers have spoken. And yes, that's what they call themselves. So today I wanted to try Scratch out and see what I could create in a couple hours. I don't have a ton of free time today and I figured this is the perfect test to create the ultimate game. So getting started, I hopped over to the Scratch website and created an account. That's why I ran into this weird glitch where it said the username that I had was available, but when I tried to actually sign up with it, it's it didn't let me. How rude. And after doing some intense research on the website, I found that there was a desktop version, so I quickly downloaded that and installed it on my computer. Now that it was all set up, it was time for me to come up with a game idea. My initial thought was to create a kind of a Kirby Samurai style game where you you have to press A before the other person does. But after playing around with the art, I knew that for the vector style I was trying to achieve, the artwork would just take way too long. So I scrapped it and moved on. I had a couple other ideas like cutting fruit and controlling hands with WASD and arrow keys. But you know what? I thought it was time for us to challenge ourselves and make something a little bit more intense. And that's when I came up with the idea of Ducky's Cozy Kitchen. Now the idea is very simple. It's you're a duck in the kitchen trying to cook and these flies keep trying to pester you. So you have to swap I'm out of the bye air. Bye. Yeah, warrior wear, I plead the fifth. So I had a basic idea and it was time for me to turn it into some artwork. And I found that for smaller projects that creating the artwork first is actually just faster because it helps you think about all the mechanics and things that you need in the game before you even start programming. Okay, yeah, little did I know that this wasn't really gonna be an issue with Scratch. Anywho, so I started to mash some shapes together and voila, the perfect little duck in his perfect little kitchen. He's got a plant, he's got some toast, he's got whatever that is, and most importantly, He's got some flies. So I jumped back into Scratch and it was time for me to start working on the programming part of it. Now, considering my last programming video was in C++, I feel like this was playing with a Fisher Price toy. Within five minutes, I was able to add most of the artwork and I was able to move his hand around. And the thing he's holding is actually called a turner and not a spatula. Yes, mind blowing. Next, I added the flies and I gave them the ability to fly around randomly through the room. And also I gave them an animation as well. After that, I worked on cloning the flies so that they would spawn in every random couple of seconds. So now you can have a kitchen full of flies. Great. This is also when I found out that the scratch forms was down, which made my hunt for custom text even harder. But this is when I discovered something. It's called a book and it never goes down. And after reading it, yeah, I still was kind of clueless, but uh, look at this cute mouse though. After that, I added a swatting sound effect when the flies got hit. I also made it so the turner, not spatula, would kind of glide to your last position every second or so. At first, I thought it was a really cool mechanic and I don't know why, because it's not. It just feels like ice physics for your hands and no, nobody wants that. After that, I added this very Nintendo sounding track that I found online. And I'm not gonna lie, this game is starting to feel pretty cozy. So it's time for me to add some more polish to the game. Like waiting a second or two before you can hit the fly, making this toaster pop randomly, adding some more sound effects. I even made it so the more flies you kill, the faster they spawn in. So eventually you just have this absolute madhouse of flies. And honestly, that's pretty much it. And I'm almost embarrassed to say, but the artwork took four times longer than actually programming the game. And now I see why Scratch is so popular. It's incredibly easy to use, albeit a little limiting, but if you're someone that's interested in just getting started with programming and playing around, I feel like it's the perfect framework or engine for you to use. Now, regarding Ducky's Cute Kitchen, there were a few more things I wanted to do. It would have been nice to be able to finish the clock with a font. I also could have given it a better ending, but my whole thought about a cozy game is it never ends. It's endless. Endless flies forever. Anywho, if you want to poke around the code or play the game yourself, link will be in the description. Now, if you're saying to yourself, I wish I could learn how to code, well, fear not, because one of the most effective ways to learn is by using today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundational advanced math to programming, AI, neural networks, and more with new lessons being added each month. And their interactive lessons have been proven to be six times more effective than passive learning, like just watching random lecture videos. Being able to see what you're learning is really important for engaging with concepts. And Brilliant storytelling makes abstract ideas actually relatable. One course I really like is Computer Science Fundamentals. It basically is Programmers 101. It helps with decision-making, 
writing programs and algorithms. It's fantastic and I highly recommend it. To try everything Brilliant has to offer, there is a 30 day free trial. All you have to do is visit brilliant.org slash or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. And I just wanna say thank you to Brilliant for supporting the channel and my game dev journey. Anywho, that's it for this video. Let me know what programming language you'd like to see next and I'll catch you in the next one.